I've used Andrea because so many typical Western beliefs coincide in her reality. The idea that aging is disastrous, that women are relatively powerless without a man beside them, that life is, practically speaking, highly difficult, while it should be ideally simple. All of these ideas obtain their charge from a basic belief in the powerlessness of the conscious self to form and regulate its experience. Luckily, Andrea is working with her own system of beliefs. Presently, however, while she tells herself that age does not matter, she still believes that her desirability as a woman decreases with the passage of each day. So she feels and acts less attractive when that belief holds sway. She is fortunate enough to be able to check her physical experience against her beliefs and astute enough to see areas in which she has made great advances but let us look at some of those beliefs and apply them to others, generally. Often, of course, those who try the hardest to be good do so because they fear their, for their basic worth. And those who speak of having youthful minds and bodies do so because they are terrified of age. In the same way, Many who shout about independence are afraid that they are basically helpless. In most instances, these opposing beliefs are held quite consciously, but kept apart from each other. Therefore, they are not reconciled. Since your feelings follow your beliefs, Various groups of them will appear, appear to be senseless at times if you do not allow them free connection with opposing ideas that you may also hold. A person may seem to be very open and responsive. Reading this book, for example, any reader might say, my trouble is that I am too emotional. Yet, on some self-analysis, almost all will find areas in which emotions are expressed only to a certain point. They are not followed through. No feeling brings you to a dead end. It is in motion. And that always leads into another feeling. As it flows, it alters your entire physical condition and that interchange is meant to be consciously accepted. Your emotions will always lead you into a realization of your beliefs if you do not impede them. Emotional states are always impetus for action meant to be physically expressed. Each has a basis in natural aggression. We'll stop there. All right, there was a couple key sentences. We just read one. It said, at the bottom of 209 in the, that paragraph, near the very bottom, it says, your emotions will always lead you into a realization of your beliefs if you do not impede them. So that's that's key. And then there was one up here, and it might have actually been. So, what do you think out of all of this? Well, some of the
direct energy into physical experience. Right. Conscious beliefs direct energy into physical experience. That's true and necessary to uh, learn. So I, I just want to write it down anyway. Conscious beliefs direct energy direct energy into physical experience into physical experience which is basically what he's saying over and over in the book in so many ways and then another point I made note of as a reminder feelings are not reality that was a key yeah they are about reality Understanding that the feeling is not a statement of fact, but of emotion. So we need to understand of emotions, they have motion, and they're going to affect the body as you feel them and transform, and they will always lead you into, uh, into a realization of your beliefs if you do not impede them. They're also always impetuses for action and meant to be physically expressed. Emotional states are meant to be physically expressed. That's very interesting. So two of these right at the bottom of 209 are really important. And emotions are about reality. So you would say, I feel inferior, but that does not mean that you are inferior. See? The whole point is you say, I feel inferior in order to figure out what belief is making you feel inferior. Well, that's another note I made. Question beliefs behind feelings. Right. Question beliefs behind feelings, which is a really good one. That pretty much sums up what this whole thing is about. If, if you don't mind, why don't we use those? Well, I have one more. Okay. Beliefs are communicated telepathically. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? I love that, that he just says that as a matter of fact. Beliefs are communicated telepathically. Now, of course, some, that'll be controversial. But, you know, some people have experienced it. Right, so we're, today is the 24th, is that right? Well, okay, somehow we've got to pick which one we're going to use out of this. Hmm. Love to put the telepathic one together. So question beliefs behind feelings. Beliefs are communicated telepathically. Conscious beliefs direct energy into physical experience. Let's do something different this time, okay? Let's go with all three of these statements and leave them as part of our group. And however I put them in the video will be pretty much how it ends up. Okay. All right, I'm closing prayer. Dear Lord, thank you. For this information, may it open our minds to allow us to understand emotions, how they are part of reality, how they are transforming our beliefs, how they are meant to be expressed, how they are 
impetuses for action. May we understand how our beliefs are communicated telepathically and so much more. Thank you for helping us with all of this harm-free. In the name of Jesus.